Hello. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about a movie that is uh, 70 years old. And it's from uh, uh, this DVD set that I have. Um, it's Sabrina. Um, the reason I uh, watched this was because of... Uh, Valentine's Day, at least the time of uh, recording. Is not long ago, I watched this on Valentine's Day and thought, you know, what, uh, what better way to sort of uh, celebrate, I guess, that, <laughs> that day than to, uh, I guess, watch something romantic, basically. Because um, I usually like to watch things like, uh, you know, yeah, any of the before trilogy films, I've already talked about those, as well as um, <clears throat> yeah, the uh, the the the, the, the uh, Casablanca with Humphrey Bogart, who's in this film as a uh, lioness, and uh, Audrey Hepburn is of course Sabrina, and uh, William. How old is his uh, his Bogart's brother uh, David, and Sabrina is uh, you know she's in love with David. She has been always all of her life. Her father is a chauffeur for their family, uh, and so she grew up with them. And uh, David doesn't really acknowledge Sabrina much. Uh, and he's somebody who is married quite a bit of times. You know, he's been married like three times by the, the uh, uh, by the time we get more, I guess like, not necessarily halfway through the film, but you know, he's been married quite a few times and, uh, Sabrina goes to Paris for a couple of years, and um, when she comes back, uh, everybody, you know, is looking at her. Everybody is like more in awe of her than before, and David now is paying attention to her. Um, Lioness has always paid attention to her uh, here and there. You know, she's, you know, he acknowledges her, but you know, he's more of a businessman and he helps run the family business which you know they have a lot of different uh businesses and various uh interests and so uh by the time she returns to america to long island like in particular um You know, he, uh, David, is now engaged to a woman who they're going to do business with. So things can uh, sort of be even more beneficial to the families. And uh, But, of course, Sabrina arrives and David is very infatuated with her. But, you know, things play out in such a way where he's unable to really do anything with Sabrina. And so Linus has to, you know go out with her and do things and as he's doing this um, he starts to fall in love with Sabrina and uh, during the course of their uh, uh, their uh, spending time together she starts to fall more in love with Lioness but David is still very infatuated with her, and it's just, it's very, very, uh, it's a very good film. Um, again, I've, I, I believe I've expressed my, uh, very fondness for, uh, Audrey Hepburn. She's, uh, you know, she's one of the greatest actresses, um, uh, in Hollywood just, you know, uh, she's just an amazing actress. She's my favorite actress. 
Um, of course, you know, arguably you could say that there are, uh, in terms of like one was going to name like best actresses, you could probably might be able to put some uh, other names above hers, but she's still excellent. She plays a lot of elegant women and um, you know in Paris she went to for like cooking that was like her thing that was why she went there and so she went there for a few years and came back and knows how to <laughs> cook quite a bit and uh, of course uh, her father is not to totally uh, happy that she's still infatuated with David or that as time goes on, uh, she might seem to be, <laughs> well, maybe not, uh, well, yeah, he's not fond of the idea of uh, driving Lioness and Sabrina around when they go to certain like places like dinner and things of the such, you know, he he's not very comfortable. And that's understandable. It's also kind of funny how in the when she returns, she's waiting for her father to pick her up. David finds her and doesn't recognize her. She has a dog named David, and you know and they're driving, and you know he's trying to find uh, figure out what her name is, and she's not saying anything, and he drives home because you know you, uh, well she lives basically. <laughs> We're in the same neighborhood as she does, but she's not telling him where she lives and everything, and you know, like her neighbors, and then he figures out who she is, and um, yeah, uh, <laughs> so it's it's a very good film. Um, Audrey Hepburn was nominated for Best Actress for this film. She didn't win, but she did win uh, prior for uh, uh, Roman Holiday, which I talked about last year. This film was directed by uh, Billy Wilder, who directed Sunset Boulevard, which also had William Holden. And uh, it also directed Some Like It Hot. You know, those two films probably would, might be two of the best known movies uh, Billy Wilder made. He also produced and co-wrote this film. And this is based off of a play, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's a very good film. Um, this DVD has a documentary about Sabrina, about the making, like a making of it, and so it's pretty cool. And the other film in this set is, uh, of course, Breakfast with Tiffany's. Um, funny the fact that this is sort of like a, her in a way her best known role at least in terms of looks especially it's a very iconic look um you know this dvd doesn't have any special features beyond uh the trailer as well as uh, you know interactive menus because you know that was really you know state of the art uh, back in 1999 one came out this was a 2001 release and Roman Holiday was 2002 so yeah this would have been 2006 I haven't talked about Breakfast at Tiffany's though I know there are people who aren't fond of this film uh, mainly due to the fact of uh, well, Mickey Rourke and his character, uh, you know, playing a Japanese character. So he said, you know, at the time, this uh, uh, nobody really said anything. And people seemed to like his performance, but yeah. It's interesting how uh, Humphrey Bogart and uh, William Holden didn't get nominated for Oscars. Um, not necessarily that they would have won, but, you know, both are very good. And neither could have been up for best actor. Um, 
Audrey Hepburn, of course, got nominated. And uh, I believe this one for cinematography. I could be wrong, but this did win an Academy Award. So, yeah, this is a good film. Um, I remember getting the, this because, well, it wasn't too expensive. And also, I'm like, eh, I'd kind of like to have these movies. I had seen them before on television as, uh, and um, enjoyed them. So, yeah, good film. And, uh, yeah, definitely worth, um, definitely worth watching. Um, so, yeah, uh, I know it's late after, uh, you know, after Valentine's Day and all, but kind of thought, you know, I should watch something a bit different than what I'd normally would watch, and, but... Hadn't seen this in a while. Also, the fact that this film will be you know, 70 years old this year kind of made it even, I guess, uh, even nicer in the sense that I could talk about this also, uh, as, uh, in addition to rewatching it. And uh, this was still a really fun film. Uh, I enjoy it. It's, it's, it's a very, very nice movie. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, excellent movie. Well made, well acted. Everybody in this film is excellent too. Walter uh, Hampton's in this film also, and John Williams, not the composer, an actor named John Williams, Martha Hare, and Joan Voss. Uh, also co-written by Samuel Taylor and uh, Ernest Lehman, and Samuel Taylor uh, wrote the play, so he had a hand in. Uh, uh, in the film version of his play. And I believe they were all nominated for Oscars for writing this. Could be wrong, but I know this was nominated for quite a bit of uh, Academy Awards. Uh, Billy Wilder was somebody who made so many excellent films. Obviously, Sunset Boulevard and some like it hot are highlighted <laughs> on the back, but yeah, he made so many films that are excellent. But yeah, I hope all of you are uh, doing well. And I don't know, if you've seen Sabrina, uh, what do you think? I know there's a remake with uh, Harrison Ford, and uh, I saw that years ago, and um, <clears throat> not a bad film. Um, but I do... Pr uh, uh, like uh, the original more, um, just because you know, in a way, you, you, it's very rare that the remakes are better than the original films, but uh, still very good. Um, and I just uh, wanted to highlight a film that I enjoy and I probably wouldn't talk about a whole lot, especially since you know, with romance films, you know. You know, some are very, very well done, and others can be kind of a bit, you know, much and with the romance and stuff. So, something like this, which is a, you know, classic film in its own right, and uh, doesn't really have, don't go too much into the, like, to the point where it's all sappy, you know. I think that's one thing I'm not, might not be... Me and some others that might not be super fond of some romance films because sometimes they can get quite sappy quite fast sometimes just depending on who's making it and even sometimes who's in it. But these three are excellent um, in their parts and just in general. They're all excellent performers in their own right. So that's really all I have to say about Sabrina. Excellent movie. And uh, yeah, I hope all of you are doing well. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you had a great Valentine's Day, which was last week. <laughs> and I hope all of you are having a... Yeah. Hope you'll have a great weekend. And I've had a great week. So, uh... Till next time. Take care.